video tutorial we're going to explain how to insert formulas in Excel. So first of all we are going to create a table. So you create a table, you can add information and you can just change the size of the columns you need. So you can resize the rows, the height of the rows that you need just from here, from the side, from one side to the side. And then you insert the information. So you have to insert and you, you need to change the color. Just go to the cells you want. You want all of them, for example, this, all of this. Just go, go to the menu and just change the color for the, for the background. Or you, then you want to change the color for the text. That's easy. Just change the color for the text. Also, you can change the format and you can insert the line so from here you can insert lines and everything you need for the table so once it's inserted the table your table is done you have insert information we have applied format so apply format is on the two to see nicer okay so you, you see everything nicer now we're going to to insert the formulas so how do you insert the formula so we're going to calculate the average and the average of this means Julia uh, did one, two, three tests. So what's the average of this? The average is easy just to calculate the average. You have to add all the numbers and divide by the, by the number of items. So that's, we're going to do this one. So we have to add test one, test two, test three, and then divide by three. But Excel, with Excel, you can do it very, very, very easy. So go to the result and here, you want the result, press the bottom function and then you will have find average the formula is average so it insert function and then we select what number you want the average so we want this three and then done so automatically it calculates it adds all the number and divide by the num number of items so the same for the second one so average function all of them and done the same for this one so he go to the result insert function average and done. The same for the next one. Insert function. All of them. And done. And this way for all of them. So this is easy, but it's always the same. Just select the items. And then done. And for the last one here, average. Insert function. And just done. Okay, we have a problem here. Why is the problem? The problem is because you you look here we wrote that's wrong because we wrote point instead of comma so in this in this computer it the decimal number it's comma so seven comma six five comma eight and nine comma five so if you don't know in your computer how your computer is set up so the best thing to do is just to go use this one use this key when you use this key it always work it will always take a decimal number because sometimes the computer is, is set up with a point another time with a comma so if you use this one the numpad it always works so use this one to calculate so now the next step is calculating the maximum the maximum will be which is the maximum of these numbers so we are going to go here again in some formula the formula will be called max so insert function max of this so we select the range of numbers set of numbers we want to get the maximum and then done so with this one you this is the maximum of these numbers so imagine we calculate we, we change the number 6.7 by 10 then automatically it calculates then the maximum that it's 10. so the same for the minimum the minimum is called mean so mean insert function mean of this set of numbers and then done and then the minimum of course is 6.4 so done so imagine we can this we change this one for 5.6 so automatically the minimum changes again so we have to fill in all of this with with average all of this with maximum grade this with minimum grade and this with average so we, it is very easy just with the formula so now the last step we're going to do is insert a graph so we are going to get a graph with the with the names and with the average so these two columns if you try to select them you cannot select them 
because then in the middle you have test. So you have to select column separate. So that means the first column, unless you press control and you select the last column. So you with control you can select column that are separate like this. So once that the information is selected, so go to insert and we are going to put a bar. For example, this one is bar 3D is fine. So bar. So here you have your graph. For this information, so the graph shows the names and the average. So you can change here the say grades, for example. And then if you want, you can we can change the color. Instead of all blue, we can go here, we select all of them. So we go one of them, and then we can just change the color for this one. Just this one yellow, this one green. That's very, very nice, not with all the same color. This gray, and the last one maybe red. So this is done. So this is the, the activity that's created the for create the graph, insert the formulas, and after inserting the formulas, you have to create the, the, the graph, bar graph, with the first and the last column. Very, very, very easy. Okay, bye-bye.